It is recognized. Thank the gentleman for yielding. And Madam Speaker, you know, the very foundation of our health care system is that relationship between a patient and their doctor. But the President's new health care law now inserts government bureaucracy in the middle of that longstanding relationship. And one clear example of, of this is the establishment of the Independent Payment Advisory Board. This 15 member board of unelected, unaccountable bureaucrats who will soon have the authority now to dictate our nation's Medicare policy by effectively deciding what health care seniors can receive. And since its inception, IPAB has been the focus of vocal and sustained opposition from doctors, physicians, and patients because it does threaten to reduce beneficiaries' access to treatments and services that are included in the Medicare program. Madam Speaker, repeal of IPAB has strong bipartisan support. Given the widespread concern about the impact that IPAB will have to deny quality health care services, it's no wonder that about 350 organizations that represent veterans, seniors, employers, small and large, as well as doctors and physicians and consumers in all 50 states support its repeal. Although a majority now in Congress of us support our, know our concerns about IPAB and support its repeal of IPAB, it is the American public, including many folks from my community, who remain the most vocal about ending this program before it's implemented. And the American people have every reason to be worried about this IPAB board. The unchecked powers of IPAB have been explained by my colleagues already at length. And simply put, IPAB is a dangerous government agency that will be made up of unelected bureaucrats with no oversight, no accountability, no recourse for seniors to appeal any of IPAB's decisions. The decisions making, the deliberations, the meetings that IPAB have do not have to be held in public. Madam Speaker, rather than endangering Medicare beneficiaries, we should be empowering them. Rather than making decisions behind closed doors, we should be having these discussions in public, in our hearing rooms between doctors and patients and consumers. Let's do the right thing and protect American seniors by repealing this provision, this overreaching provision. I yield back.